Hello, this is Zainab Maidan, and this is a SWOT analysis of ACCA's March 2024 Strategic Business Leader Pre-Scene Information. So, we have a case about a football club called Athletic Trans Central, which we will refer to as AT. And this will be the first part of a SWOT analysis where I will talk about strengths and weaknesses, and I'm going to have a part two for opportunities and threats. So, when we look at the strengths, this club, AT, was established in 1895, and it has been playing in KFL since 1907. So it has been here for more than a decade. It has a strong brand history. Um, this is definitely a strength. And it has the only stadium in the city of Prinia. There are no other Division I teams playing in that city. Um, and the closest three teams are 40 kilometers away. It has loyal fans. We can understand this because we are informed that the stadium actually utilizes full capacity on match days. They renewed their training facilities a few years ago, and now they have one of the best training facilities in the country, which creates a competitive advantage for them in attracting and developing players. Their revenue is increasing, um, which shows us that sales are growing. They have a strong women's team. Uh, it finished third in Division One last season, and it's this was its highest ever position. And they also won the women's domestic cup competition. They own land. They do not only own the land that the stadium is built on, but they also own land next to it. Uh, for now, this means they have rental income, and for the future, it means that if they want to build a larger stadium, they already have the land. The CEO is a family member. This is a family company, and the CEO is a member of the family. So this can be good or bad, but in this case, in terms of a strength, it means that shareholders have very close control of directors and the agency problem is at a minimum. And strengths according, according to the extracts from the website are that um, they have strong community engagement. They value their role in community and want to make positive impact. And this will improve brand image. They are environmental conscious. So environmental causes are important to them. Their footprint is important to them. And they seem to be environmentally aware. They commit to their values about transparency, well-being of players, safeguarding, stakeholder fairness, and community involvement, which helps with their public image and can help them attract sponsors and supporters. Weaknesses. Obviously, declining performance is a weakness for AT. They haven't won the league or domestic cup in 15 years, and they haven't qualified for the Russian International League for eight years, which also means that they have not been in top three in KFL for eight years now. So they're losing their competitive edge. They have an aging stadium, which um, in the case was mentioned a few times that building a new stadium could be an opportunity. Um, and this stadium has high maintenance costs now. It's over 90 years old. They have declining EBITDA and relevant earnings for FFPR, despite the fact that revenue is increasing. So we do not have cost breakdown and we do not know um, about the other costs except for the mentioned maintenance cost that is increasing for the stadium. They rely on TV income. When you look at the financial performance data, you see that their biggest resource of income is TV income. And this is negotiated by the league KFL for all football clubs. What does this mean? This means that you do not have control over your largest source of income, which is not good. They have limited commercial sponsorships. Mainly, they do not have a lead sponsor and they are not getting everything they can. They are leaving things on the table by not having a lead sponsor. They have 
outdated retail strategy because we know only the official replica kits can be ordered online and you cannot buy any other merch online. In the case, we do not know anything about the risk management at this point. We know there is an audit committee, but we do not know what they are doing in terms of risk management or if there is a risk manager. We don't know. So this seems to be a weakness. There is no head of HR. This is a pre-seen information, a case where the importance of talent management is clear, especially in terms of good football players. So it is not clear if this can be done, if the talent management can be effective without a head of HR and HR director. It also means that each function is responsible for recruiting and appraising their own staff, and we don't know if this is an effective approach. Again, CEO is a family member. This can be a good thing and a bad thing. So we do not know exactly how qualified the CEO is and if he could or she could do this job if they weren't a family member. There is only one board committee and um, knowing this is a family company, knowing it's not listed, it might be listed. Uh, and in that case, it's going to need more board committees for governance best practices. And another thing is that there is a director of marketing and IT. So the directors actually signal us which functions the company sees as most important for their operations. And why does IT manager report to the marketing director in this context? This might be a signaling that AT doesn't give technology enough importance and is not on top of technological trends. AT may only care for social media and web existence for online marketing purposes or just a limited fan engagement. So these are the weaknesses and I will see you in part two for opportunities and threats.